What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. We have our SGC sub is back. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do one a month uh, in some way, shape, or form. I got a bunch of stuff that I'd like to get submitted, like to get done uh, and graded. Uh, so we're going to start off with, I think we did one in January, which is... Which was good. I think I did like a 10 card sub in January or 20 card sub in Jeb in January. This is uh, a 10 card sub. Mostly all modern, I think. Ultra modern. Uh, all of them got graded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's actually an 11 card sub. Uh, everything got graded, which is great. Um, let's see what we got. Uh... I, I peeked at the grades. I did, but I don't remember them all. Um, this sub, they received it on. When did they receive this thing? Let's see. Doesn't say when they received it. Submitted on July, uh, January thirtieth, and here we are on January tenth. So I actually did the submission online, January thirtieth. So we're talking 10 calendar days from the time that I submitted, sent it, shipped it. They got it, graded it, shipped it back. I got it. 10 days, 10 calendar days total. I mean, they're just, I'm done. I'm done beating a dead horse, but they're just, they're the best in the business when it comes to delivering things on time. Uh, a couple of crossovers in this one. Um, I had a... Well, well, we'll go through them. So, let's jump over here. Here is the first one. I don't know if this is going to be my no line or my winter, but here we go. All right, so this is... Man, I got a nine. Nice. So, this was a crossover from a BGS 8.5. Um, this is the no line error, kind of error variant of the uh, hoops Luka Doncic rookie card pretty good pretty good off, off to a good start uh Paolo Banquero I pulled this card obviously you guys know I rip hoops like crazy uh this is the blue variant nine not bad a little off center top to bottom left to right actually a pretty nice card pretty nice oh there's like some whiting on the yeah anyway pretty nice little card uh i had a total of one two three alperin shingun rookie prism silvers i sent all three i just sent what i had they're not the best i have yet to find a really good centered version Every single one of them that I bought, I bought it off of eBay. It looked centered in the pictures. I get it, and it's off-centered, but we did our best. God. Eight and a half. This one's off top to bottom. There's a big old, like, funky thing right in the middle there, and then there's another one down here that I can't couldn't really do anything about. Man. Yeah, this one, I hope this is the worst one. Actually, I don't think it is because, yeah, I don't think it is. There's going to be another one that's probably just as bad, but we'll see. Nine on this one. Not bad, not bad, not bad. This one was probably the better centered one of the pack. Still off the bottom, uh, off top to bottom, but not too bad. Nine on that one. And this is, yeah, this one was tough pickles. Yeah, this one's got some print line stuff going on. That upper corner right there has got some funkiness on there. Off, left to right, top to bottom, off-centered. Little divot there on the edge. Yeah, this thing was just not in good shape. Edge on this side is not the best. Uh, listen, you guys know uh, Alperin Shingun is my guy. The three that I had, I submitted them. 
all of those were all raw. Uh, the, again, the only crossover was the uh, was the Luca crossed over from a BGS eight and a half with no subgrades, which I didn't know what the subgrade was. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki PSA. I want to say it was a PSA seven or a PS no PSA eight. SGC nine. Now this one was a. It had the protectant on it. Um, so I went in and took the protectant off. Shout out to Kurt's Card Care. A little wipe down, a little cleaning, a little detailing on the card there. Managed to get a 9 on that. Listen, guys, those protectant films were meant to be taken off. They're not meant to stay on there. Um, this is a Jokic rookie. Um, this is... It had a grade from the dallas card investor dci pre-grade of like an eight and a half or an eight i think came back a nine again shout out to kurt's card care nice little pre pre and this and that's that it has like some little booger on there but overall great card should win a third mvp in my opinion probably won't it's probably going to be given to luca which i don't have a problem with either but I think Jokic deserves it a little more. Um, Chet Chet Holmgren again pulled this rookie nine five blue. Uh, can't you can't really say thunder like like uh, match, but close enough nine five. Uh, this one and the Apollo are probably going to be for sale. I'm gonna throw them up on on eBay. See what I can get for them. Um, so not too bad there. Uh, this is going to be my Freshman Phenom Silver. This originally was a CSG 9.5. Oof, got an 8.5. Interesting. There was some little surface boogers on this one. Um, and I And if I'm not mistaken, it's not very well centered. I think it's off left to right and top to bottom. So Phenoms is really close. That is very high. So yeah, centering probably killed it for sure. Uh, but again, it was the only it's the only silver prism rookie year Luca that I have. Definitely not gonna buy a full out um, full out one. We'll get to that one in a second. This is gonna be it was an HGA 95 Luca rookie silver came back at SGC nine. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the centering was the subgrade that brought it down to a nine, five. I think it was like all nine fives, two nine fives, one ten, and the centering was a nine or something like that. But, um, in case you're wondering, where is that? This is what the difference is. So that white line is what is not present here. So kind of the difference there that's why there's a variant uh and then finally this last card um all right so this last card shout out to my man brian once again for the tremendous gift this was a gift that was given to me by by a subscriber my man brian he saw me do the trying to pull a Jokic rookie card i bought like five or six packs of um, 15, 16 Don Russ trying to pull one. Uh, I failed, but he did the exact same thing. He went and bought a handful of packs and was like, recorded a video of him opening those packs and said, whatever I get out of these, it's coming to you. And as luck would have it, he pulls not only a Jokic rookie card, but a hollow number to 199 rookie card. And because Brian is a complete man of his word, he said, Hey, this is all coming to you, buddy. Um, so this could have gotten a two for all I care. Um, but again, just a great gift. Uh, thank you again, Brian, for your generosity and, and for thinking about me, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate that love, man. I really do. And it looks absolutely beautiful. This is going up on, I'm putting up some more shelves up here to display some more cards. This is definitely going up there. Um, but just a beautiful card. Great grade, eight and a half. It had a really bad corner. As you would imagine, this came from a cello pack. Um, a hanger pack, so the the um, the corner was was a little bit dinged up. I did what I could with uh, with the Kurtz uh, corner tool, cleaned it up quite a bit, 
Uh, but still, it just would, you know, listen, the Kurt's card care stuff is not going to alter the card at all. It just does the best that it can with trying to fix it as best as it can. But it's not going to it's not going to alter the card. So it, it naturally didn't fix it all the way. You could still see the crease in that corner right there. Um, but it did a good job. Eight and a half is a great grade for this card, in my opinion. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Out of 199. Again, Brian, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, for that gift. Uh, that's it. That's going to do it. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Help me do this kind of stuff a little bit more every week. Stay tuned as the next slab torture test is going to be coming up pretty soon. Uh, we're going to be doing um, the waterproof test for SGC. A lot of you guys have been talking about how SGC is not waterproof. We're going to find out. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys watching as always. I love y'all. Peace.